it gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you a hearty welcome to all of you to one of the world's biggest and most prestigious nutritional C suite summit Nutrify today is unconditionally committed to democratizing supply chain and with this we have done a lot of activities and I sincerely thank the principal scientific advisor to government of India when we reached out to them that nutraceutical is the next big thing. Uh, he supported us and he enabled and empowered a body called this nutraceutical task force. India actually has potential to be a hundred billion dollar nutraceutical industry hub and for that, there are a lot of policies to be changed, a lot of systems to be in place. The technology is already here. We have to enable these technology to not only help the companies in India, but industry worldwide for this momentum to gain. With this, uh, I warmly welcome you. And in the next, next two days, I look forward to networking, sharing ideas. Thank you so much. I think this is a very, very, you know, important event what Nutrify today has organized and uh, it's really had put in a lot of hard work, I can say, what I could see. So I am basically the, you know, uh, scientist in CSIR, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, uh, but I have been given this responsibility to coordinate the Nutraceutical Task Force on behalf of PSA, Principal Scientific Advisor, Government to India. Basic aim of this Nutra Task Force to enabling and empowering the Indian nutraceutical industry to be US dollars, 100 billion ecosystem. Then industry from India and other country shall be part of this growth journey and accessing the you know market from the other countries in the area of nutraceutical ingredients so as task force we are working on the multi channel upgradation of the policies as i already said that hsn code biodiversity also one of the issues but that we are also looking but it may take some time but pli scheme we hope to you know come up maybe in next future and empowering these promotion bodies of the uh, commerce ministry enabling the then again area where we have to really work on that like incubation hubs government of india under the department of science and technology they have also initiated incubation hub scheme and where in r and d institute they can establish the incubation hub and they can do lot of innovation in this area i invite the you know during the two days some challenges where we have to come up and what you where you want the help of the government to be part of this where government can facilitate the export and shaping the policy through that and implementing this through the various respective ministries once again i welcome and lot of hard work we could see that is put in to organize this summit and look forward to the you know good outcome from this summit so that we can further take up those things and we can fulfill our main agenda to achieve the US dollar 100 billion market. Thank you very much. I'm going to introduce you to a very interesting friend of mine from the world of artificial intelligence, Mr. AI. And uh, thanks Amit for the introduction. Hi there, I am colleague of Nutrify Genie Click from the world of artificial intelligence. I find myself more appropriate than Amit to take you through this AI app for nutraceuticals. This is the beginning of the artificial intelligence era for ideation to commercialization of nutraceuticals, which will help companies go to market faster, more options, and think beyond the top 10 hero ingredients and get onto opportunity of more ingredients, which possibly could do a great job. If we are able to look beyond the top 10 hero ingredients, this genie will help you out to make those choices. Thank you. 
The Netherlands, of course, from old is uh, famous for its dairy products, cheese, milk, uh, but also innovative horticulture. In the last century, my country has become a renowned scientific hub when it comes to developing the food of tomorrow. Notably, Wageningen University and Research stands out as one of the world's leading research institutes in this field, looking to revolutionize food production. Now, this ecosystem in the center of the Netherlands has become an important supplier of foodstuffs with high nutritious value, including ingredients for, for example, baby food manufacturers in India. We've been able to build this ecosystem because of the close cooperation between universities, the business world and the government. This uh, so-called he uh, triple helix model is what the Netherlands is famous for and which is also actively pursued by the government. Food space is going through doctors indeed, and it's a, a space that at this moment, if we look at the enteral space going through the mouth, it's about 20 billion worldwide, and about 80% of that space is in the hands of four big players. The interesting thing is why is that? I mean, why is that market kind of dominated by these four players? And the other 20%, if you look to what's happening in the different parts of the world, it's mainly uh, low-cost uh, copies in order to make the products more affordable or to make it easier for some health insurance companies. So what we thought when we started actually our company a few years ago is that we need to innovate. That's where you can kind of get into that market and create a space that is sustainable. I think as well we can really help tell the Indian story in the US. I, I think most US companies obviously on the supply side work with India, but I think most of the finished product companies, they, they don't really know too much about India. I mean, China has been such a big uh, primary market for them that they really have just focused on China. They're not really thinking that much about India and we would like to change that. So actually for our next uh, program, grant program with the Department of Commerce, we would like to uh, begin to work here in India. I am the CEO of the Industry Transparency Center. Transparency is at the center of our ethos. Um, very appropriate probably that I'm here talking about supply chain and transparency. Um, with the media, with the, uh, with the internet as a channel and an information base, there's a lot of noise and the, the importance of being able to differentiate as either an ingredient company or as a brand has never been more important. All countries, consumers are willing to pay for transparency. Talking about now, Generation O, the generation that is overwhelmed, overworked, and overweight. This is a new descriptor. And this needs to be taken into account when we're looking at the products that we're formulating, we're taking to market. But importantly, it's about how we actually market to them. So we need to understand what's happening in the environment. We see increased pollution, we see increased stressors. So how do we then formulate? What do we take to market? But how do we talk about it in the marketing communications? Look at work, work stresses. Many of us have got millennials in our business is generation Y as well, and they're completely different to baby boomers, so how do we connect with them? The foods that we eat, we've spoken a lot about nutrition today. How do we talk about those things which are anti-inflammatory, those things which actually help and reduce obesity, but there is an opportunity, of course, for brands that look at obesity, that look at satiety, etc. So, when you come to Brazil, for sure you are a foreigner, you will be welcome. We love a foreigner. If you don't speak Portuguese, for sure you will be welcome. But this country consumes a lot. So, I believe that it's a market that the potential size, when we see that, is $2.2 billion for nutraceuticals. It's getting bigger and bigger because we estimate that for coming in five, seven years, we grow much more. Health is defined in a different way today. Health is not absence of illness. Health is wellness. And hence, when we look at the market for nutraceuticals, we have to look at the market both in the context of illness and wellness because prevention is better than cure. And it becomes very, very important that the whole market dynamics, which Amal mentioned about it, have to be looked in that particular way. It is a great time for the nutraceuticals industry. Uh, the only thing is all of us 
should be responsible in the development of the product, responsible in terms of claim, responsible in terms of shaping uh, the market and be highly focused to develop this market. The sheer quantum of infrastructure that has been added in the country in the last seven to eight years is more than, I'm talking about Delta, is more than what has been added since independence. Yeah. Now, what does that mean? That completely changes the game, uh, you know, in terms of how products can move, access of products, uh, someone sitting in one corner of the country, how quickly they can connect their product to someone else in the country, etc., etc. So all of this also implies a massive boom uh, that is expected and coming our way. Uh, and we actually have started to see that already. It's an absolutely rocking time in India today. Um, I can't imagine a better time uh, to be in India uh, than what is happening today. It's, it's, and, and we just very strongly believe that the future will completely, uh, you know, uh, belittle the, uh, the achievements of the past. The speed at which this country and the economy is set to grow uh, would surprise all of us. I'm exclusively thankful to Mr. Amit Srivastava, the Nutrify and his team for organizing this event and uh, spearing for actually making this hundred billion dollar uh, sector. In this, what Ayurved can do and through the Ministry of Ayush, what the various initiatives and the various facilitating mechanism that we have undertaken. So this is a glimpse of that. The Ministry has also taken various initiatives. One of that is the signing the 24 country to country MOU. So we have the MOU with Peru, we have the MOU with Brazil, we have the MOU with most of the Latin American countries and we also have formed a a more traditional medicine export working group under the SCO. At the same time, we also have the collaboration with the uh, partners of the at uh, the multi uh, level forum, whether it is BRICS, whether it is ASEAN, whether it is the BIMSTEC. So all these various forums and there this traditional medicine uh, sector is very active. And these are the opportunities which are coming up. At the same time, the G20 uh, summit, so the creation of the Forum for Traditional Medicine, so that is also under the G20 and under the WHO, the Global Center for Traditional Medicine, the WHO has, uh, it is establishing at Jamnagar and this was uh, launched by the Honorable Prime Minister uh, in the presence of the DG WHO, the Prime Minister of Mauritius last year at Jamnagar. And this Global Center for Traditional Medicine, it is fully supported, funded by the Ministry of Irish Government of India, and it is the only center of WHO for traditional medicine in the world, which is coming up in Jamnagar. So it is not only for the Ayurveda or the Ayush systems, this is for the all systems of traditional medicine across the world. So experts of all these systems from different parts of countries, they are visiting and they will be visiting on one big event under the GCTM will be organized in August. August uh, this year. So these are the various opportunities and how actually it is uh, being scaled up, what are the various initiatives. Uh, so it is uh, gl just a glimpse of that and I think that it will give a lot of thought to the industry entrepreneurs and you are most welcome to approach us. Thank you very much. It's been about 30 odd years I've been in the healthcare, largely in pharmaceutical. Uh, 10 years I have been in nutrition. Um, and I have built a nutrition business here and I operated also at uh, Asia Pacific level where I built the nutrition business in uh, uh, Asia Pacific markets. Consumer experience of vastly ignored area, especially, you know, coming from, coming from a healthcare side where you're used to dealing with patients on who takes pills and capsules and so on and so forth. No one really thought of consumer experience. I'm telling you that is a make or break. If your product does not address the consumer experience. If the consumer expense is not good, however hard you may try to convince them that there's a great opportunity, there's a great product for your health, it will not taste great, I think you're finding a losing battle. The more you integrate it with your food, the more you integrate to enhance the consumer experience, the better chances of success. And finally, my two points coming to keep it scientific, anchor on data, have enough data points, have enough science, have enough studies, have enough proof points. Avoid making exaggerated claims. There are a lot of brands which make exaggerated claims and they're bound to fail. Your messaging has to be very, very simple. Whether you talk to consumers, whether you talk to regulators, whoever you speak with, your messaging has to be absolutely spot on. 
Quick introduction, my name is Pranav Jyoti. I'm the executive director and the CIO for the Royal Office of His Highness uh, Sheikh Ahmed bin Faisal Al Qasimi uh, within the private office of one of the rulers uh, of uh, United uh, Arab Emirates. Uh, you know, while the private office focus also is very aligned to this construct of making the world a better place, you know, the partnership uh, program which we are trying to build in is really curated and selected for current and future investments that make world uh, a global hub. That as we look towards the future, we look to partner with companies over here and also companies within the vicinity so that that the private office of His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Faisal Al Qasimi, it is imperative that we embrace a new way of thinking just about life and impact, and that we consider that vital importance of nutraceuticals in achieving our life goals and health goals. How do we make supplements less scary? Because it's more of when I'm ill, then I need. But then how do we make it more fun is, is another space. I think benefit-led science space, consumer wants to have proof and benefit out of what they're taking. And that links to brand credibility and efficacy as well. It's very critical. It's mushrooming around the world and in India as well. How do we continue to build the brand credibility and efficacy so that consumer can trust? Last but not least, and I talked about it, is evolving regulatory environment. For example, in India, I'm very glad FSI six, seven years ago brought new nutraceutical regulation. It is young regulation. If you look at the bigger picture, there are a lot of teething areas, but we are on the right journey. But we still have, for example, supplements in drug regulation. I think those areas we need to tease out that how do we make regulation less burdensome and more effective for consumer and industry as well. When we are talking about the health, it's, it's, it's actually no more than just physical health. Uh, as you can see here that, you know, the stress management, sleep quality and mental health is actually a predominant health concerns, uh, you know, uh, the trends which we are seeing now. So, uh, so, so that's where that's where the lot of focus of nutraceuticals uh, and, and and the role of nutraceuticals comes into it. With our company Tablets India diversified and forayed into the probiotic journey way back in 2000, none of us imagined the depth and the vastness of the probiotic usage. I do remember around that time the first line of treatment of managing diarrhea in children used to be antibiotics along with ORS. Today, after several years of continuous medical education, we are proud to say that antibiotics is getting replaced by probiotics in managing diarrhea in children, and antibiotics usage is now reserved in cases of acute infectious diarrhea. Like the above, with the advent of scientifically documented probiotics, the medical fraternity has been able to manage several gut-related issues using probiotics. I think globalization is an important lever one should never miss. I've literally realized that what works in India in some way or the other, fundamentally also if you do the same way, following those fundamentals, it will work outside of India as well. And in many cases, I've seen personally, it is working. And in several countries, we are able to commercialize it in uh, you know some of our products. Which I'm repeating here is, it has to be an integrated way of looking at it. And nutraceutical companies and pharmaceutical companies and their technical experts and their commercial experts, they need to come together, sit together and develop this. And that, that's, the, that's the best way to you know kind of take it to the next level. Government has done far, but I think it is important for commerce, it is important for the actors, the stakeholders, to kind of get in and drive this as well. And I think that will enable these, much of the enabling uh, that will come during the journey. Our primary goal here is unlocking the power of nature. In an everyday basis, we're used to consuming foods and medicines uh, at different levels, but unlocking what those products actually give to you usually doesn't happen in a natural way in terms of what we consume them. So we believe at Noritas, some of the products that we've developed, which are peptide-derived products, um, 
bring to us a totally different way of looking at how we do business and how we unlock the power of nature. From this, we've developed a system of artificial intelligence that allows us to actually do discovery in a totally different way. We are the first company out there that has used artificial intelligence to actually do discovery and unlock these peptides and actually bring them to market where people are consuming them today and a number of products that are currently on the marketplace. This is where uh, we bring our innovation. That's uh, our patented product, Nanocurcumin, which we have uh, developed using natural curcumin as the uh, starting material. This was primarily done to overcome the limitation of natural curcumin, which is about 1 to 20 micron in size and limits its uh, therapeutic value. Uh, we decided to take a new approach of increasing the efficacy of curcumin by making it smaller, making it readily absorbable in the body by increasing its surface area. So there is a patent to it, uh, which covers the process product and the application of it in medicaments. And that's where we differ from most of the branded curcumins in the market. We now have a very important uh, and a pleasant uh, ceremony to go through. Quite obviously, we've put this, uh, Nutrify today has put this entire program together thanks to some of the sponsors that you see out there and Nutrify today. Amit and the team from Nutrify Today and the team from the C-Suite Summit, thank you so much for having us here to introduce um, WIN, Women in Nutraceuticals, to the India region. WIN is not just for women. WIN is an organization which is for men and women both because it's easy to say this, but without men in nutraceutical, there won't be a point of discussing women in nutraceutical to thank the organizers for giving this opportunity today and come and talk on uh, solutions for women's health. Briefly introduce IFF. Um, we have four divisions in the company and I think you're very familiar with the, uh, the first division, the scent. So these are all our flavors in this division. But we also have uh, the Nourish uh, division, which is about food ingredients. We have the Pharma Solutions division which is mostly about uh, excipients and those sort of things. And Today we are more towards preventive zone and because of the changing lifestyle, the sedentary lifestyle, less physical activity, the lifestyle diseases have been increasing. After why the pharma industry is coming into the nutraceutical zone because they want to give a patient-centric solution to the people. When I say patient-centric, so suppose if their MR is going into a doctor's chamber for a metformin, which is a diabetic drug, they want to go ahead, enter into nutraceuticals and package those uh, diabetic drugs with the other nutraceuticals which could help them in a complete patient-centric outcome. We had a huge cry of selective sex uh, selection female child and and um, then uh, aborting that that is how the slogan beti bachao beti padao came and i'm very pleased to announce you this slogan came actually in 2008 given by me for the organization called foxy our national association I would like to say that the postbiotics popularity is getting increasing in the latest uh, latest 5 years if you have looked at today's newspaper, there is again an announcement that number of diabetic patients in India have increased to 100 million. And I think the route is at this, and we are going to see that it may develop intrauterine. Since COVID 2020, we have seen uh, a paradigm shift in the thinking of the consumers. Their thought processes have completely changed and consumers means all of us also sitting here are consumers everyone has changed their thought process since then there is much more awareness about immunity about eating more of balanced diets and and less and less refined diets there is a more accelerated adoption curve towards health nutrition nutraceuticals etc and obviously, there is a lot of digitalization as well. A rise in e-commerce platforms 
especially during COVID times, has enabled us to get our home deliveries of our Nutra nutrition products at the click of a button, sitting at home in a much safer place. I think you guys have done a phenomenal job. Um, I, I remember Amit uh, uh, and the team reaching out to us almost uh, two years ago. We missed out on the first uh, uh, Nutrify Today Summit, but uh, looking at the overwhelming response, as well as the great feedback, we are so glad that we could take part in the second one. And uh, really, I'm thankful for inviting us and giving us an opportunity to talk about our company. My utmost pleasure to be here, and my sincere thanks to Amit, as well as Kasim, as well as the entire team of Nutrify Today for inviting me. It was not easy to get permission, from the, because I work for the government, it was not easy for me to get permission. They asked me so many details about Nutrify Today. I just sent them the link and they were satisfied. And again, when Amit told me I need to talk about glycemic index and brain health or mental health, I was a little bit not happy. The reason is, GI not just modulates mental health, but it modulates systemic health. It takes part, like care of every part of your body. But again, let me focus on mental health because I'll show you some alarming figures of how mental health is going to be the next paradigm of this century. So thanks Amit for uh, giving me this opportunity to speak before such a knowledgeable and diverse audience. I'm really impressed by the presentation we have been listening since yesterday, and I'm privileged to be the part of this wonderful, knowledgeable gathering. I would really like to, you know, appreciate the, uh, the remarkable healthcare system in the GCC uh, countries. Every uh, government or a private hospital in the GCC have the latest technology and the cutting edge biomedical equipments. And all the government hospitals and the private are taking every possible initiatives to improve the health care and get the best out of the world. I'm from a company, a Korean company. The name is Metasan Therapeutics. Metasan means metabolism century. So we are focusing on the nutraceuticals in Indian term, but in Korean term, or our company calls it the nutraceuticals uh, medical food. It's the same meaning. We are developing a, a new products and a new technologies. And uh, uh, when we can have uh, the more products, uh, uh, we would uh, like to introduce the new technology and products into India at first. <laughs> Thanks for the invitation to be here at Nutrify Today C Summit, especially based on the recommendations by a new company, Dutch Medical Food. What I'd like to do is bring you to the situation of patients and why nutrition, oral nutritional supplements and maybe nutraceuticals are important for those patients who have been treated in ICU. You know, nutraceuticals are still packaged in a very old-fashioned way, even though nutraceuticals have been with us for many years. For me, the home of nutraceutical development and superb marketing is the USA. And that's followed by Germany, to some extent France, the UK, and so on. Nutraceutical compared to pharmaceuticals, and you know, is it complementary or are they actually against one another? They're very different. I, I think it's different. My background is pharmaceutical. I have a PhD in pharmaceutical sciences, but I've been in the dietary supplement space for over 20 years. And I can tell you they're very different. In pharmaceutical, you're dealing with a single compound that you're trying to target, treating a certain disease. In nutraceutical, I'm trying to provide you with the nutrients to allow you to live an optimal life. And so in the US, there is something called the NHANES. So the NHANES gathers data from a, cro a large cross-sectional um, population of the US. And what they look at in NHANES is to understand what are the nutrients that the, the general population may have insufficient intakes of. Because we understand that insufficient intakes will lead down the path of non-optimal health. In terms of designing our studies, uh, one of the major challenge which I see is uh, when we design the outcomes. When we plan of outcomes in a neutral study, uh, there, there, there may not be very well-defined outcomes. 
Secondly, the causality of nutrition intake and the clinical outcome or the parameter which we want to measure, that would be very uh, really difficult to establish the causality between them. Often there is this big debate, nutritionist or a doctor or is it and, is it versus, is it a team? So the doctors actually spend four hours studying nutrition in medical science. The nutritionist studies seven, seven years, okay? So in that way, the nutritionist is a better candidate. However, there is a multidisciplinary team approach which is required. Also, when you're looking at personalization, the nutritionist spends almost around 40 to 50 minutes. So understanding what is the food habit, cultural habit, uh, activity pattern, and then integrating it into the diet. Hence, the nutritionist actually helps in bridging this gap between the two ends. We have high quality standards while being cost effective, and we're really strict with non-GMO. Um, status, so we're working towards being 100% non-GMO with all of our ingredients. We're pretty, we're considered relatively conservative with the claims and label text that we write, and actually the FDA has used our labels as examples for other companies to model after. All the doctors need to take continuous medical education, CMEs, and currently if you look at any CME program, it does not include nutrition as a CME topic. Yes. So we should have nutrition as a CME topic to get CME credits to the doctor, yes. and that can be done which will immediately at least bring some interest among doctors to engage themselves in the nutrition education. I think that part is critical. How can we get more new age young adults interested in buying supplements here in India. Start thinking of supplements as a lifestyle product that's for everyone, especially young people. For everyone as, as, even, as in even for healthy people who might enjoy taking fun supplemental products because it's the cool thing to do. Thomas and Trigis, as a name, uh, we focused on skin just skin, only for skin. So we make the product for skin uh, with a safe ingredient, an effective ingredient. Uh, we, we study for 20 years for the product. Uh, finally, we make the brand uh, three years ago. So this is the product that we are trying to show today. And What's this? With the is it the ampoule? It's an ampule? An ampule? Yeah. So, so um, this is really good for the skin elasticity, antioxidants. Um, PDRN is what's called PDRN. It's coming from the uh, salmon. The ingredient coming from the salmon is really known to be um, very good for skin elasticity and um, good for your aging. Uh, actually, we have uh, five key technologies. Okay. So each are the, the master product of the each technology. So we have various products from the each technology, and you can combine any of the two or three of products. Okay. Uh, where by the recommendation of a pharmacist, this is for the CNS disease. This okay. is for Alzheimer's and uh, Parkinson's. Okay. And so this can uh, inhibit or the prevent the progression of the Alzheimer's. Usually, you know, diabetic patients uh, can go to the uh, Alzheimer's. It's the neurodegenerative degenerative diseases came from diabetes. Excellent. So this is our final goal. And it can help the uh, human uh, races uh, from the Alzheimer's or the CNS. I am a member of the Hungarian company. 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 I am a member of the 제가 10년 동안 한국에서 방송인이었거든요. 그래서 이제 그런 정말 연예인들을 위해서 아름다움과 건강을 책임지는 이런 뷰티 비즈니스를 하고 싶어서 시작된 브랜드. 이제 저희 이 블레싱미 같은 경우에는 이제 이 한포에 석유가 10개, 10과가 들어가 있고 그리고 이제 베리 종류 7가지가 들어가 있고 
아, 아, 오케이. 그러니까 어, 정말 여성들을 위해서 만든 제품이에요. 그래서 뭐 이제 뭐 생리통이라든가 생리전 주문이라든가 피로회복 항산화 항산화 제품 항산화 제품. Singapore has fallen in love with this event, and he says, "I will remember. I will be married for many years to Dr. Sri Vasava and this event." I feel the same way as him. He's been a great success, incredible networking, great business opportunities. India is one of our most important markets. Um, from the beginning, to be successful uh, in India, we've had to come here and look for uh, local partners. Um, very happy to this to be our second year uh, involved with uh, the Nutrify event. A really, really strong partner in uh, in Nutrify today. Uh, we've already seen that partnership turn into uh, you know additional business for us, and we look forward to uh, continued success. About 100 billion uh, market. I, if you if you dissect the data points, it's very much possible. Uh, you're looking at food fortification, you look at traditional medicine. Uh, fortunately, in India, you have Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha. There are multiple systems, then the home remedies, uh, which, you know, which we all remember that, you know, you, you put some Kapoor in, in, in the hot water and you feel better on your stomach ache, which is, have, have to have some kind of scientific business behind it. Because as an industry needs a shape and a form and uh, we need the government to give it a, a department or, or a desk in some form so that uh, priority is allocated to this, uh, to this industry and uh, debottlenecking of policies and, and procedures becomes much easier to do. Very impressed with the Nutrify Genie. Um, looking forward to trying that out. Um, I think the people that are in the room, the people that are networking around here are the right folks and I think the ambitious, uh, but the ambition of uh, making India a $100 billion Nutra industry, uh, these are the right folks to do it. It's going to be ambitious. Uh, about the Nutrify Jenny, I, I see it's a, it as a very good opportunity, especially for the uh, players or the Nutra industry where the label uh, making, label, uh, label enhancing and uh, in the formulation it can be a very useful tool. It's uh, a great pleasure to see how c -Suite has uh, evolved from the first edition to the second one and we are very glad to be present here as a startup uh, coming from IIT Delhi's incubation facility and looking at the platform's growth and the curated audience it has been able to develop. Uh, I'm very, very glad to see the opportunities coming for a startup like us which will help us uh, to grow from the very fancy, uh, in, uh, from our very uh, small stage of no revenue to a probably a medium-sized enterprise sooner than later. It has been an ecstatic experience and I must compliment Dr. Ahmed and the team at Nutrify for putting up this particular show. It is an extremely well-planned show and uh, the intent of the show, what was there, the content of the show, I think they have fully achieved the objective. For us, specifically speaking, it has been two wonderful productive days and I wish all the very best to the team at Nutrify. Mind blowing. I have attended many conferences, science conferences, medical conferences, which is done by big professionals and media management companies and all. Looking into it, this is a very, very extraordinary experience. The experience is extremely good, you know. Uh, the way the Indian nutraceuticals industry is growing, uh, I would say that the C suite has been brought all fragmentations into a platform where. Uh, Apart from the networking, I think right knowledge has been spread. A sincere thanks to every one of you. Uh, it's been a great journey working with you. Uh, we could pull it off purely because of your support. We succeeded last time because of your support. We have succeeded even now purely because of your support. And as we grow, we'll take all of you together because together we'll make a great industry in this world. Thank you once again. Namaskar.